If you're quite a competent mountain biker and you ride flat pedals, it can be quite a commitment to then take the leap and try and learn how to ride with clipless pedals. So the question is, can any idiot ride in clips? Right, we've got an idiot for you today. You might remember Jack Gill, our in-house idiot. He's one of our filmmakers here at GMBN. Uh, he tried to get a KOM last year, wasn't successful. Well, today, Jack is trying clipless pedals for the very first time. Ooh, ooh. Right, Jack, you've yeah. been started to ride a road bike, yeah. clipped in. Yep. Yeah. But you've Definitely never ridden a mountain bike. No, never ridden a mountain bike. Why not? In. Uh, I've always been a flat, so I've never really wanted to ride clips, to be honest. Big Sam Hill fan over here. Yeah, yeah, big fan, Sam Hill fan. He follows me on Instagram and everything. Wow, Jack's filmed with him. Yeah. Big time. So, how are you feeling today about trying it? Uh, interested. I'm a little bit skeptical, but. I don't know, Doddy's reckoned have said they're quite good for like riding rough stuff and uh, things and tidying, riding up, so I'm a bit sketchy. I think Crank Brothers, I know I've said this before, I think they're a good flat pedal riders clip mm -hmm. because you kind of, you don't feel like direct, like you're in, I don't know how to describe it, but I find you get a bit of float and it yeah. feels like you're riding on flats, it's just the clipping out bit yeah, yeah. that could be a problem. They feel completely different to road cleats. Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to slow you down? Uh, probably. Right. Just to start off with, uh, once I get used to I it. I think maybe. we'll start off, we'll see if we can find some really skinny North Shore and send you along <laughs> and see how that goes. Yeah, definitely going to slow me down. <laughs> Straight to the floor. Jack's just warming up. I thought it might be a bit cruel, actually. Take him straight to the North Shore, so he's getting used to them. Let's listen. Skipping Whoa. going on. <laughs> uh, so why would you want to switch to clips? Well, I think, well, I did it. I used to race full time on flat pedals for years and years, and I did it because I wanted to switch to race enduro. And I felt just that extra efficiency in pedaling that I just needed to do it. But I think if you're like a pretty good rider and you ride flats all the time, I think it's quite a step back to begin with. If you, if you go to clips, you can really take a knock in your speed and in your confidence, because it, it does feel scary. It feels like you've gone from really knowing what you're doing on your bike to being like completely out of fish out of water, like being clipped into the bike. So I think if you're a total like, novice beginner, I think you probably progress a bit quicker if you go to clips. So that's why many people don't ever do it. They'll just stick with flat pedals. And we'll see how Jack goes today. He might just want to go straight back to his flats. Oh. <laughs> Can't even clear that jump. Well, cool. Get your crank on. You got ultimate efficiency now. What does it feel like in turns? I can hear you moving the bike around. Uh, it's all right. It feels weird because you can push. I twist a little bit similar to what you were saying. Yeah. And you can feel it like your foot pushing against the. Uh, resistance of unclipping. Definitely it's good as well. You've got like the, the <coughs> mallet e, the, so you've got the cage around the pedal and you've got quite a soft sole shoe. Yeah. I really, that feels like a flat as well, where you can, like, you can feel the pedal still a bit. The problem comes <coughs> when like, if you push a bit hard and then you like wash the front wheel. Well, that's what I think what I did in that corner there. You just got and to get I used to. Couldn't put my... Yeah. So I just tried to ride. I mean, I do that. If I've ridden flats for a while and I switch back, yeah. it's getting used to coming out with your heel. If, instead of just being like dabbing, you've got to get used to yeah. pushing the heel. Because I'm doing it with my knee for some reason. Yeah. I'm, but I'm not. I don't know. Just push That's just takes a bit of practice. Yeah. Sweet. Lovely. Oh God. <laughs> Yes. 
sections like this bit of track are the reason why I switched to clipless pedals. Because basically, especially in British enduro racing, you're often uh, trying to go fast over stuff that's quite flat but rough. So you haven't got any hill to help you out. So you've got to be cranking over rough stuff. And that feels horrible in flat pedals. You know, you kind of bounce around. But it also doesn't feel like you get any sort of forward propulsion. So for me, it feels much faster, but also it's nice. It's a bit more fun riding this stuff. So hopefully this is where Jack will feel like he's improving on clips rather than going backwards for a little while. How's that, Jack? That's good, yeah. Feel right on the jumps? Not too bad. I'm not that confident at jumps anyway, so... I'll tell you what, it doesn't feel good when you have your first buckaroo in the clip. No, it? I'm not looking forward to that. You don't feel good, whatever. You look good, like, so far. Good, I reckon man. if you ride within your level, it's, it's kind of easy to get used to clips. Yeah, nice. I reckon it's when you try and go fast. Right. Or you try. Actually, slow, techy stuff. Okay. I, I find that freaked me out when I was starting. So let's go and try and find something a bit trickier, Jack. All right, sounds good to me. I'll follow you, no pressure. Well, that's a camera. All right, Jack, how are you finding clipping in? Uh, okay, at times. When I'm sat down, it's all right, but I think I'm struggling with finding like where the cleat is at the bottom of my foot and putting it on the yeah. actual sort of mechanism. So I said to you to put cleats right far back. So what mm -hmm. I do, cleats are all the way back in my shoes. Yeah. Because I reckon that suits, if you're good, like your style of riding, sort of enduro down on flats, I kind of find most people do stand with their foot quite far yeah. forward on the pedal, but maybe it's not quite right. Yeah, I think I pedal more with my toes and... So you bit, might want to just yeah. move your cleat a bit. Okay. It wants to be sure, like... Yeah you stand in the spot and you clip him like trying almost. Yeah, I'm struggling to do that. Maybe. Right. Fast, rough, straight bit, I reckon it should feel good. Sweet, can't wait. Lean back, smash it through. Your feet won't come off. All right, give it a go. Probably. It definitely yep. feels way better on this rougher stuff. Straight away? My, yeah, straight away. I think my feet feel way more planted. I feel part of the bike rather than when I'm on flats, I feel some of the harder stuff, my feet get bounced off ever so slightly, but it does sort of put you off a bit. So yeah, it's this... definitely, it doesn't happen often is it, where you slip a pedal on flats, no. but you remember the times it does. Yeah, and that puts you off big time. It sketches you out. <laughs> Jack's looking good, confident, too confident if you ask me. This is what really freaked me out when I first started riding clips is going really slow uphill on techie stuff. So it feels like you just can't unclip. So you're attached to your bike and you're just going to topple over. So let's have a go. See if I can get up here first then we'll get Jack on it. Wait. Go on then, Jack. Go on, sometimes I can't Just find Just push it. it. I'm pushing. <laughs> oh my God. Has it fallen off? <laughs> no, no. It's still there. Right. Give it a whack on the, on the pedal. Yeah, it's give it a whack of, in the mud. It's full of wood now. How <laughs> can that be so hard? I don't know. Well, they haven't moved. <laughs> He's still brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't never see anyone struggle so much. <laughs> I wasn't struggling the other, earlier. That was in then, though, wasn't it? No. Okay, Neil's laid down the gauntlet. <laughs> Gonna give it a go. Right. Oh, <laughs> 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 
And that, folks, is what we waited all day for. See Jack fall over. <laughs> oh, oh. What have you done? I whacked my thumb on this lever. No, I joked that, we, I said, Jack, <laughs> we can't leave here until you fall over. It didn't take long, first go. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it my old Neil. <laughs> So Jack learned the hard way that if you're not very quick at unclipping, uh, you can just tip over. It's not great. So Jack needs to build some more confidence. You know the best way of doing that? Riding skinnies, Jack. Probably, not sure. Let's see how you get on. <laughs> oh, it's a bit nerve wracking. It's like when you lose your balance and you overcompensate the wrong way. Nailed it. Yo. I got clipped in. Oh, yeah. It was a bit scary that I can't actually take my foot off and keep, like counterbalance. You know, if you're walking on tightrope, you sort of do one leg and the other. But yeah. it's um, yeah, I feel like I on flats move my foot around the pedal. I know what on you mean. Something a bit narrow. I feel like I do a bit like almost inside my shoes a bit, yeah. but you can't on like or like carbon shoes on like. Cross country pedals feels yeah. like you're way more rigid, whereas these style shoes you can kind of yeah, move a around a give. bit. How do you feel then? Are you going to stick with the clips or I you? I definitely think I'll keep them on and actually, well, this is your bike, but I'll maybe <laughs> steal these pedals and uh, steal the shoes and put them on my own bike and give it a go in the weekends. But it takes yeah. a while. I think it feels really good. If you're going for a big pedal, like it feels good for that. Mm. For, I think you kind of, it's easy to lose a bit of confidence, especially if it's muddy and you're like washing the front wheel out and you go to dab and you, you don't because you can't get your foot out. Yeah. That doesn't feel good. But yeah. There's the a bit of a learning like curve, but I reckon you get over it pretty quick, and then I think the, the advantage is there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For the rough stuff, it felt amazing. Really. Nice. Let us know if you ride flats and if you've ever thought about trying clips out or if it just freaks you out too much. <laughs> definitely leave a comment. I know when I first tried it years ago, I, I didn't try them again for 10 years. I was like, that, that can't deal with that. But now I've persevered, it feels good. Uh, definitely subscribe if you haven't to GMBN. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs>